in this module we will give you the general introduction about a lab scale state fermenter so you can see in this diagram this this fermenter is a laboratory scale fermenter having the glass vessel body so you can see here that the first is on the top is this motor which help to agitate the fermenter sometimes in some fermenters this motor is placed on the bottom but most of the laboratory scale fermenters this motor is on the top but here you can see that uh, vessel this is known as a body vessel and then you can see on a upper plate that there are different electrodes ph electrode oxygen electrode and then there is a condenser from where the gas has to exhaust because when we have the aeration supply and then the air has to be evaporate uh, has to exhaust and for the decrease for the minimum evaporation loss we have to fix the condenser over the fermenter to reduce the evaporation so that's why this one is known as the exhaust gas condenser so along with that the dialysis unit some fermenter that is uh, having uh, the part of that but in some fermenter when we have a manual addition this dialysis unit is only required when we have a automated in feeding inside the fermenter but if we have a manual input then there is no use of the dialysis unit but mostly when we talk about the fermentation uh, process in the modern age most the all kind of the fermenter has the dialysis unit so if we see the detail ab about the dialysis unit we can say that have a different microprocessors in which we can have some programming because uh, as concern the fermenter control monitoring and the record then a mini computer is attached specialized computer to run the whole fermentation so that is microprocessors logging and control system and then the gas supply rotameters because when we have to supply the gas to the fermentation process then we should know that what is the pressure of the gas either how much volume of the gas is fed to the fermentation medium and then pump for ph control anti foam nutrient feed etc so you can see here there are the three pumps in this diagrams are available which we can also pointed out in a previous figures which we called as dialysis unit so these three pump act as the dialysis unit which actually used for the addition of uh, acid either addition of alkali to control the ph and the one pump for the addition of anti foam and in some fermenter there is a four pump that is also used for the feeding of the inoculum inside the fermenter so if we go on a large scale fermenters you can see that if there is a fermenter having a 100000s liter capacity then that have a top driven agitator foam breakers because sometimes when we cannot use the chemical uh, anti foamers then we have a mechanical anti foamer or a foam cutters so that is mostly provision when there is a large scale fermenters so in this fermenter you can see some uh, accessories and some parts of the fermenters which is only uh, fabricated with the large scale fermenters and then you can see that internal cooling coils and the baffles you can easily see in this fermenter that these are the rounding coils and then on the side there is the baffles which is required mostly in a large scale fermentations sparger so sparger is very necessary part of the uh, fermentation because we have to supply the air 
and in case of some archaea then we have to give some other gases too. So, that is why the sparger is uh, very critical. So, as concerned the basic features are the accessories of the bioreactor associated for monitoring control and record then different systems we have to in a fermentation process an agitation system, oxygen delivery system, foam control system, temperature control system, pH control system, cleaning and sterilization system and sump and dump line from the fermenter if the fermenter is on a large scale and industrial level because we cannot manually add something inside the fermenter and then we cannot harvest the fermenter manually. We have a sump and dump line system associated with that fermenter. 